Hey guys, this is Shantan and in this video we are going to discuss about CICD pipeline to deploy .NET 7 applications to Azure AKS cluster. So I have just created a sample AKS cluster in Azure and also I have a registry, a container registry in Azure to store a Docker image that I'm going to create and that image I'm going to use within the AKS cluster using a manifest file to create the pod within a cluster. Also I'm going to create a service that will be mapped to that particular deployment and pod to browse it using external IP. So let's jump in and get started. So if I go to Azure repos file section, so I can see here I have a new tutorial app. So that's .NET 7 app. I can click here. I can go to the csproj file to see the target framework. So here you can see it's .NET 7 app and it's basic MVC application. We have model, we have views and controller. If I go to the views, so within the home, I can go to index page. It's simple page like welcome all to new tutorial app. I also have this particular application open in Visual Studio. So I can see here in the views in the index CSS HTML, we have a similar file. So if I'll run this particular application, so that's going to build and that's going to open in our local browser. And we can see it's simply it's a page saying welcome all to a new tutorial lab so we are gonna this is currently running in localhost we are gonna deploy this to azure aks cluster so later on we can browse it using external ip so that will be hosted on internet and we can browse it anywhere so i have just pushed this code using git to azure repos you can see this is the similar code and also i have created a ci cd pipeline ci to build this particular code and cd to initiate a deployment to Azure AKS. So if I go to CI within pipeline, we can see I have a new pipeline, new app CI. So this is to build that particular code and push it to ACR. So if I will edit the pipeline, I can see here I have very simple steps. I'm just getting the source. So first I'm saying like, where is my code? So that's on Azure repos Git. So you, this particular tutorial repository and in the main branch. So I'm just fetching that code in that pipeline. Also, I have a build agent that's already configured. So that's default Azure pipeline agent. If you have a private agent, so you can also change it and configure it. And I have added a very simple step of Docker Compose so that we can simply get it by clicking on plus option. We can just search for Docker and we'll get that option here to add that task in our pipeline so i have just added it to build that particular image and i have added one more task to push that image to acr so that's already built-in task we can add it in our pipeline but if you want to follow a different route let's say we can add a bash script also and we can do all those task or whatever we want build operation and push operation so we can just generate a small script to build that particular docker compose also we can generate a script to log in into acr and then push that particular image to acr so it's up to us how we want to keep it currently i have just used the built-in task to build that image and then push that image to acr and then the next but task we can see that's copy file to build artifact staging directory so uh, whatever files we have in the repository this particular source uh, folder whatever files we have so i'm just copying these two contents deployment and service yaml to this particular artifact staging directory and later on i'm publishing that artifact staging directory with this artifact name drop so that i can use it in my release pipeline so basic steps are just build the image whatever image we have whatever code we have so we have a docker file there we have a docker compose file there so we are using that docker compose yaml i can again show you so if i go to here this particular project we can see we have a docker compose how we can get this docker compose and docker file so in the dotnet we have option within the visual studio we can simply go and we have we can just right click on that particular project we can add the docker support so when we'll click on add docker support it's going to automatically add the docker file and also it's going to add docker compose file here so if i open the docker compose so it's again referring the same docker file and if i open the docker file here so we can see it's 
basic docker file that's pulling this particular image .NET ASP7 and performing basic operations like copy run then .NET build .NET publish and within the pipeline and first step is I'm just building that docker compose and then it will create an image that image we need to push to some registry so currently we are using Azure container registry so I'm just using this particular Azure connection so for that I have created a service connection so I can also show that so if we have option of project settings within that we have service connections and we can create service connections. So I have created two connections. We are using for build pipeline to push the image to ACR. Another one I just created for direct Kubernetes deployment. So we want to run kubectl command or Kubernetes deployment using that manifest file. We want to create pod and services. So for that I have created another connection. So we can simply click on new service connection and we can just use Azure Classic or Azure Resource Manager. Here we can click on next. And just we have to follow basic steps like go with workload identity federation or service principle or managed identity we can just simply click on next we need to give some basic details of subscriptions or username password we are using and based on that it's gonna automatically verify that connection and then we can later on use that connection in the pipeline also in case of kubernetes connection it's the same process we need to first authenticate to azure so we can click on new service connections and here we can check the Kubernetes and we, when we click on next so that's gonna check the Azure subscription and again based on the Azure subscription it's gonna fetch the attached Kubernetes cluster it will fetch the namespace if we have additional namespace already available namespace and then we can select where we want to deploy we are into push steps so that's why we are just pushing this particular image to ACR in case of build we are just building this particular image third task is copy file to build artifact staging directory so why we are doing this we have our root folder and we have some deployment files so we want those deployments files to be available for the release pipeline so release pipeline are gonna use these two deployment file to run kubectl apply command to deploy those manifest into kubernetes cluster so that's why we need those files so we are just fetching those files from the source folder and then we are publishing that into artifact staging directory drop location and then from there we'll use these two files to run kubectl command to create to apply those manifest within the cluster we can simply run it the steps it's running so i have selected a agent and then i'm running it from main branch So it's going to run all those steps one by one. So it, it started building that particular application docker compose. We can see whatever we have written in the docker file. So it's running executing one by one pulling that image. running dotnet build so build is successful yeah and now it's pushing this particular image whatever image it built to acr this is also done this is a, again copying those files to artifact it's also showing one artifact produced we can simply click here we can see what is the artifact so it has created this drop and it has copied deployment.yml and service.yml from the root location if we go to release pipeline we have release here if i click on edit so we can simply click on add and we can select the build artifact here from this pipeline the latest artifact and we can select it so that it will fetch those artifacts and then we are gonna start the stages so we have one stage with one job I can click here and show you so again uh, we have simply agent configuration so we are just using Azure pipeline agent if you're using any private agent so that can also be replaced here it will appear here and I have just added only one task kubectl deploy so if you click here and if you select for deploy 
or if you select for Kubernetes. So we have option of Kube deploy to Kubernetes. Also we have option of kubectl so that also we can use to deploy. But if you click on deploy to Kubernetes that's a basic file that we are using. So we are simply it will use the action deploy and we need to use a service connection like where we want to deploy. So that connection we have to configure. So we have already used uh, configured that service connection in the service connection section in project setting. If we have not configured that we can click on new and we can configure it. So if we click on new we hear the same thing we need to follow. We need to give all the details and it will add that service connection in our service connection sections. And then we can select namespace we can select strategy deployment strategy we can give the manifest and then additional details for that particular deployment so i'm just removing it for now and i'll just i'm just showing it whatever the details i have given so i have simply selected a service connection that i've created and here we can see i have i have created a namespace app earlier in my cluster so i want to deploy this particular man these two manifest to namespace app and I need to give the manifest. So manifest currently it's at drop location. So this is gonna simply run kubectl and it will create deployment and service within the Kubernetes cluster. So, so I'm just gonna create a new release and I'll use the latest artifact here. Create a release. So now we can see it has just started running you can see the logs so it's just initializing the job downloading the artifact and then running kubectl deploy so we can see it's saying deployment created and service created so it's saying deployment successfully rolled out here we can go to kubernetes cluster so i have open lens where i have configured the credentials so if i click here i can directly go to kubernetes cluster we have here ports running just 60 seconds ago we can see the deployment here also if i go to service available 80, 87 seconds ago and if i click here we should see this particular service should be connected to our pod so this is the target pod so this is the pod IP but this is internal IP so we want to browse it on the internet so we need external IP we can see we have external IP here so we can simply go and copy the external IP just paste this IP And we should be able to browse our application yeah we can see it's saying welcome all to new tutorial app so that's our dotnet 7 app that we just saw in the local browser and we have successfully deployed this particular application to kubernetes cluster using azure devops ci cd pipeline also we can go to container registry we can see this is the registry and within this registry we have repository where we should have our image we are using within the kubernetes service we can click on workloads here also we can see that pod we can see we have app namespace where we have just deployed three minutes ago this pod is running right so let's quickly make a change in the visual studio code and let's see how quickly now we can deploy so i'm just gonna change it i'm gonna change all to everyone so now we are saying welcome everyone to new tutorial app so that's a change we want to deploy this change to aks so simply i've just saved it i'll just stage it and just add a comment ui changes I just commit this and then push it so here we can see we are into feature branch and we have a main branch so we need to create a pull request our azure devops files 
we can see we have just updated this feature brand just now let's create a pull request to merge from feature into main for now i'm just skipping the reviewer sections and work id if we have any reviewer to review those changes we can add those reviewer information also we can link the work item if we have any work item with it also we can see here we have a file change we have just changed all to everyone so let's create a pull request i'll simply approve it complete this pr so that it will be merged into main now it's merged yeah it has completed automatically this will trigger our pipeline because our continuous integration is enabled so i'll just click here so build is completed now if we go to release so automatically yeah we can see it has just started the release So it has deployed the changes to Kubernetes. Our new pod just started. So if I'll go to again Chrome browser, if I'll refresh, so we can see our change has just deployed. Welcome everyone to new tutorial app. So that's how we can see how quickly we can deploy our change using CI CD pipeline. Within a few minutes, we can deploy our changes to the case cluster. So we have just created a CI CD pipeline using classic editor. In the upcoming video, I'll also show how can we create YAML pipeline within Azure DevOps. And also I'll try to cover some other applications deployment like any Java app or Golang app. So we can also create pipeline for those applications. Also, you can suggest us like what type of application you want to deploy from Azure DevOps CI CD pipeline so that I can create a video for that particular topic. So that's it for now. We'll cover more topics in the upcoming video. Thanks for watching.